it is illegal it's unrighteous for a preacher to say there is something called miracle money meanwhile those kind of things thrive down because we're in a, an age where Babylon has made us foolish he said the whole the earth also was corrupt this is where the bondage of corruption came from it came because those guys lost their separation so the bondage of corruption found expression the earth was corrupt and God did not create any wild animal didn't create um, uh, lion to be carnivorous but the source of violence was the sons of God they lost they compromised their separation it produced the bondage of corruption and it produced what violence I know you don't believe that God did not create any wild animal but calm down I, have, I still have scriptures okay. you realize in the book of um, Isaiah chapter 11 the prophet began to prophesy about the millennial reign of Jesus a new government was coming into the earth and Christ was in the pinnacle of that government Isaiah 11 beginning from verse 6 let's do 6 to 9 then I, I rest that case and then I continue with my story he said the wolf also shall dwell with the lamb this is the day of the anointing of the Christ when Jesus will literally sit as ruler of this space called the earth are you there he said a wolf also shall dwell with the lamb and the leopard shall lie down with a kid and a calf and a young lion and a fatling together can you say no more violence and a little child shall lead them a little child will lead a lion because there's no more violence are you there next verse and the cow and the bear shall feed and the young ones shall lie together and the lion shall eat straw like an ox lion will eat grass lion You know, I had to open the scripture because people won't believe. We don't read the Bible again. What we are looking for is, is miracle money. Do you realize that money is not from heaven? Money is. The Ghanaian currency comes from, is it Central Bank of Ghana? Is that the name? Bank of Ghana. Are you there? So, currency in the Ghanaian nation belongs to the Bank of Ghana. It's a property of the Bank of Ghana. But they make it available to you so that you can use it to transact. You can buy or sell. But it's not yours. It belongs to the Bank of Ghana. And that's why the governor of the Bank of Ghana, his signature is on the currency. Are you there? Then the preacher comes and says, miracle money is coming to you from heaven through the anointing. Now, now, I need to show you that heaven, the things of God are different from the things of man. Have you read the book of 2 uh, Corinthians? You may not like me, but I don't even want you to like me. <laughs> this is the purpose for which I was born. All right? This, this, what I'm doing now. The Lord told me that you were born in the time of error, so I will give you access to light, to one end only, one end. And that's why... I'm not afraid of death because people that do what I do they can die anytime and I've, I'm at home with it I've settled that in my heart I'm not looking for your bends I'm not looking for that's not what I'm looking for I have seen the glory of God that which God has allocated for me after this life I've seen it what I'm doing here is walking towards it that's all listen listen the Ghana city belongs to the Bank of Ghana. It is not one of the things of God. It is of Ghana. During the course of this service, I will wield some of the things of God. The power of God. I will wield it. Because he has, he has delegated some power to me to operate with this night. Even though the power belongs to him. But because he gave me, I can utilize it. Do you understand? God cannot give you Ghana cities by a miracle. He can give you manna. 
Manna is not of Ghana. Manna came, from, that's angel's bread. Oh, you don't believe angels eat bread? Oh, oh. We have a problem. Okay, okay, okay. Let's, let's. They don't believe, so let me show you first. Um. Okay, let's start from Psalm 78, verse 24 and 25. Then I can take you to Psalms 105, all right? Give me Psalms 78, 24, 25. On just. He rained down manna upon them to eat and had given them of the corn of heaven. So the name of manna is what? You are not with me. Are you with me? So the name of manna is the corn of heaven. That's why God could release it from heaven. Next verse. And men did eat angels' food. That corn of heaven is what? Okay, so we have finished that. No, 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 no. Please. If you keep clapping my time, the problem, we will reserve one time at the end of the, the teaching, then you will clap. So leave my time. Leave my time for me. Leave my time. I will, I will give you one time. Clap if you want. Then, but now we have to teach. So that's the corn of heaven. That's the same corn that was given to, the same bread that was given to Elijah when he was praying to leave ministry. They gave him that bread to eat, two doses of that bread, and he walked 40 days and 40 nights to Horeb, the mountain of God. Thereby fulfilling that prophecy in scripture that says you will walk and not be healed. It was by the corn of heaven. Mm -mm, stop that. Okay, because of that, I have reduced your syllables this night. So we can clap, we can continue clapping for 30 minutes because you would like clapping in the in Cape Coast. I didn't come here for to I didn't come here to show you that I'm a great preacher. I came here with a message from God. I will not be able to sleep this night if I don't de deliver it. So keep your clap. See, when we are done, clap. <laughs> It was of heaven. That's why God gave it. That's why his authority influenced it. It's a thing. It's one of the things of heaven. Food. You will notice when Jesus died and with his resurrected body, he could eat physical food. You know why? Because one of the 12 civilizations of heaven is food. There's food in heaven. He ate with his glorified body. I'm just trying to shift your mind. I know the, your religious mind. He ate physical food with his glorified body. Think about that. And that is in the book of Luke chapter 24, just in case you are confused. It was his glorified body that he had on when he told Thomas, behold my hands and my feet. Showed him the place where he was pierced. Say, handle me and see. For his spirit has not flesh and bones as you see me have. Even in with his glorified body, Jesus did not accept that he was a spirit. Think about it. You can't, look, let me leave you, let me leave you. I, I know in Bible school they taught you that you are a spirit. But Jesus in his glorified body did not accept that he was a spirit. Think, just think about it. I'm trying to, as we are going, I will show you how Babylon has influenced your perception of the truth. And you have been a, a captive for long. Are you there? All right, so, this corn of heaven, God released it massively in the camp. The guys didn't walk. Their, their work was to go and pick it up. So, it means that those guys were eating from the economy of heaven. So God could wield his authority to allow heaven feed the earth. And when they ate of the corn of heaven, the impact of that meal was that they didn't need a change of raiment. For 40 years, their garments grew on their body. Think about it. In the wilderness, do they have a boutique? For 40 years, uh, were they not growing? 
Oh, you are not thinking. Okay. Let me give you the last one, then I will shut up. Do you still remember the garment of Jesus when they went to crucify him? What was different about his garment? It was seamless. Show me any garment here that is seamless. Okay, let me leave you. Why do you think the Roman soldier has cast lots for his, for his garment? Oh, you, you are not thinking. All right. So God rained manna from heaven. But God will never rain money from heaven. You know why? Because money is not of heaven. When God came to create in Genesis, are you there? He was broke. He didn't have any money. It wasn't with money he created this infrastructure. Your, 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 is it the sea that comes here or the river? The sea. The sea that comes lavishly to your shores for which I saw mountains of coconut on the street today. Are you there? That sea, God made it without Ghana cities. Do you, do you understand that? So God will not rain Mana cities, Ghana cities from heaven because it's not of heaven. It belongs to the bank of Ghana. It is illegal, it's unrighteous for a preacher to say there is something called miracle money. Meanwhile, those kind of things thrive now because we're in a, an age where Babylon has made us foolish. I'm just trying to, I'm, uh, you know, my, my job is very difficult this evening. Very difficult. He uh, said, come out of heart. I'm trying, I'm trying real hard to get someone to change camp. So that's what we call, that's the estimation of the prophetic anointing now in our time. It's about miracle money. May the Lord have mercy on our generation. The only time that something like miracle money almost, almost happened in the Bible was when Jesus was asked to come pay temple tax and temple tax is not a payment that a, a, a Jew, an indigent of Israel is supposed to pay but they wanted to cause trouble so Jesus now said no so that we will, they will not offend Jesus did not want that trouble he saw the trouble coming he would have claimed his right and said I'm a, I'm. he didn't do that so Jesus will never fight for his right if you want to infringe his right he will allow you because his kingdom is not of this world. He now told Peter, I still remember you were a fisherman. Do you still remember your craft? He said, it will live with me forever. You will even notice that when Jesus, uh, uh, in the book of John chapter 21, the guy went back. If his net, he, he kept it in a location. I don't want to go there. <laughs> The net was preserved. The net. Jesus Christ. Okay, okay, okay. So he took a hook, went to the river, and caught a fish. I, I hope you know, some of you have used hooks before. If you are going to catch a fish, you put a bait on the hook, and you throw it into the water. And then the fish will come and eat the bait, and then the hook will take the fish up. Excuse me, this fish that Peter was going to catch with the hook already had something in his mouth called a coin. So there was no way he could aspire for bait. You can't clap here. You're already clapping by laughing. So just, keep, just be quiet. Let's see the, the time. There's a time problem. I'm already two days down. I'm supposed to be here for two more days for you people to see Babylon. But I don't have it. I'm going to Cameroon. 
So let's use this time very well. Do you understand? The fish had a coin, so he couldn't aspire for bait. How did the hook catch the fish? Okay, we don't know. All right, so the guy brings out the fish. I don't know where the hook was, whether it was the stomach it was, it was holding onto, but he brought out the fish and found the coin in the mouth. Now, do you realize that Peter, even though it was Jesus, God, that sent Peter to go get that fish, he had to do something before he got coin. It, Jesus did not say, when you go, you just see a coin from heaven, it will drop. Then you go and pick it. No, he said, you will labor. You will do something. You will perform something. That's how the coin will come. Any money that you don't do something to get, the financial police of Ghana, yeah? what do they call it? What? Bank of Ghana. In Nigeria, we call it EFCC. You, sh you, they should arrest you. So the alert you are getting, and you are calling Miracle Money. Who sent it? It came from Jamaica. He said, "Come out of her." If that's a description of the prophetic, we backslid long time ago. We're in darkness, even now. 